So the plan is we're gonna go to a place called St. Michael's Cave, which is up north of Sydney, which is on the northern beaches. But I can do like a cool photo. I'm thinking of having like some sort of fire torch and having the pose and try to grab some banger photos, you know. Alright, we should do it. We should be able to do it. So we're just gonna go to Bunnies. I'm gonna say go with like these ones. This, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking 60 bucks for a dumb fucking photo. Yeah. All right, we're just almost at the location. We just arrived. Fucking, we did an hour drive, didn't we? And I'll half drive. I hope it's low tide. I'm. I'm I, I doubt. I hope no one else is is, is there. Yeah, I know. If not, I'll get them out of the photo. Get out. You know, you got to get them out of the photo. Alright, let's go. Alright, here's the location, but... So uh, the main goal is we've got to go through these ties. Might be a bit sus, but I don't know. So I just checked the ties and... It's getting lower as I get there, so I should be fine. But I'm just a bit concerned, so you can tell. It's really nice if you can see the view. Here's the view. But yeah, let's see how it turns out. That's where it is. You can see it slightly. Here it is. Here we are. So this is the cave. So the plan is, I'm thinking I'll shoot from the other side, and I'm thinking why you guys stand on the top from there. So it's like a dope composition. I want to get like the fire torch and see if we can do it. So yeah, let's see how it turns out. All right. So the composition I'm going to go for. Oh, I'm just going to be careful because I tripped over beforehand. Oh fuck. Yeah, I should be fine. So the comp I'm going for is I'm going to shoot from that way and get that nice comp. Yeah, that's what I want. And I'm going to have a, and I want you to do like a fire torch. Alright, and then we're going to take the fire from here. Sure. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. Bro, right, that looks tight. So, right now I'm doing that quick uh, fire, as you can tell. Just paint it. And then like, I don't know how this photo, let's set my tripod and see how it turns out. Fuck, I've got it. I've done, finished doing the photo shoot, let's see how the photos turn out. And yeah, I'm going to see you when I get back home and see how the photos turn out, if it's good or not. So see you then. So, I'm back in at my house and I'm going to show you how the photos turn out. So I played on a few edits and see how this how the photos turn out. So the few photos I edit, I edit this one. So yeah, this is the before. So let me show you. So here's the edit. So this is the before and this is the after. So how I edit this photo actually is what I did is I actually bracket the photo. So I actually went into Lightroom, hang on, let me see. So I actually like merged these two photos. Like I actually took one photo, like I took one photo, like I only exposed one photo so that I can um, expose some of the shadows. And I, I and then I, and I, and I took a second photo to expose some of the high, highlights. So this was initially the photo. Hang on, I did a quick edit to this one. I remember we said it. So like the highlights, I just exposed the highlights, and then what I did then is I went to um command, I just I did I just clicked these two together, I went to photo, and I bracket the photos together. So how do you bracket your photos? You go into photo, photo merge, and then you just go to HDR, and then you just and they will come out like that, and they will come out like the pre and You just merge them together, and that's how I did it. So hang on, let me just go to the old. One. And the reason why. I decided to do that is because if you compare this photo, right, this photo was the one where I actually merged the photos together. The reason why I did it is because if you look at close to the details of the shadows, right, if you look close to the details, how it's less grey, that when I bring up the exposure, it's not a grainy as hell. As compared to if I go to my other one photo, which is this one, right, you can tell the photo is very grainy. That's the reason why I took the photo. Like for me, like when I was actually taking the photo, I, I put my camera on the tripod, so I exposed all the 
shadow, exposed to the highlights, and I just merged them together. So yeah, because yeah, because it was easier for me to edit, and then this long exposure photo, the one where Michael was actually doing a quick long exposure to um of the fire. So I got this one. So for after the only concern I'm like with this photo, if you look closely in, if you zoom it in. You can tell the bracketing, he moved it up slightly, so it's not exactly... It's alright, but I'm pretty happy with it. And then, the other photos I got was the two photos I did with the two fire light sticks. I don't really like them, like, I think it didn't really turn out great, like, I got... So, this is the photo I did with the two light sticks, but I don't... It's a good, alright photo, but if you look around the details, if you zoom it in detail the photo, it's just... It had a bit of camera shake because I actually handheld this photo. So yeah, and the shutters, I did a slow shot because, yeah, because I feel like it was actually kind of hard just taking the photo because I think like it's just kind of hard because since it was low light, I had to use a tripod. Like I tried hand holding it to get a bit of variety shots, but like, I think hand, but if you're doing like more like when you shoot like in dark environments, you have to use a tripod. So yeah, I think that's my, my photos and that's how it turned out. Yeah, consider, yeah, I'm pretty happy, like, I'm pretty happy with the photos, I'm pretty happy, I feel like I've got some, so yeah, I think that's the end of the video, consider liking, subscribing, let me know what your thoughts on the photos, and yeah, see you next video, bye.